I know what you're thinking. You're thinking that this is probably some type of brain tissue. Well, you're thinking right, and that's because it is brain tissue. Here is a small intracerebral blood vessel. Here are a, uh, a variety of both uh, glial cells, which are most of the small nucleated cells here, like here, 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 probably here, as well as the larger uh, uh, neurons, like you see here, 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 and here. But, you know, we perhaps can't see the forest for the trees, because if you take this, what you might possibly call on a good day, normal brain, notice as you go towards the center, all of a sudden, the cellularity of glial cells, mostly the small nucleated cells, increases drastically. And now you are in a quandary and you have to say, well, are these a lot of glial cells because they um, are reactive to something or is this a low-grade glioma uh, or the most common type of brain tumor? Well, that's the problem, and often it's very difficult to dis differentiate radiologically, grossly, or microscopically, uh, but this is a low-grade astrocytoma. Astrocytomas are generally called gliomas as well. Notice that they don't look terribly abnormal. Some may be a little bit bigger and darker than they should be, but for the most part, when you look at these cells, and 90% of these are glioma cells, notice that they look uh, kind of uh, benign. Here's one that makes you a little bit worried. And at this point, you no longer have to uh, worry or wonder whether this is reactive glial cells or uh, glioma. This is a glioma. This is what it might look like grossly now that we saw the microscopic first. Grossly, it, you can see here that there is just something in this basal ganglia area that is very subtly differentiated for, uh, from the surrounding tissue. It would be very hard for me to put the arrow on the tip of the a tumor and say, well, here is the margin, because as you saw microscopically, it wasn't really a fine margin, was it? It was a uh, very subtly blending in kind of a tumor. And that's classically what these low-grade astrocytomas, often generally called gliomas as well, look like. And although astrocytomas are one of the five types of glial cells, I know you'll remember what the other four types are. But it's usually only the astrocytomas that are called gliomas, and thank you very much.